I was looking everywhere. I looked in the garage. I looked in the closet in the garage. I looked in my room. I looked in the storage room. Nowhere. I could not find my art project. Okay, let me explain to you all what happened. Now, I don't know if you all know, but Dr. D. Nice is an artist, used to be an artist. I, I just love creative things. And during my high school time is when I mostly focused, focused on more like visual arts, where I was drawing. Is that what it is? Visual arts. And I used to draw a lot. I was in a special art program in high school. And one of the assignment was to draw our hand. And I drew my hand. Let me see. You can't see it right there. Oh, maybe like it was a position like that. That's how my hand was positioned. And I just drew my hand. I was so proud of that drawing. That was in high school. I started high school in New Jersey at Irvington High School, by the way, with Queen Latifah actually went to that high school. And that was where I did that art program where I drew my hand in that shape. And I loved it. And then we moved to Florida. Throughout high school, I did a lot of other art projects. I didn't love anything as much as I loved that hand that I drew like that. We moved to Texas. I went, I started college in Florida and then came to go finish college in Texas, Tyler, Texas, Rose Capital of the World. And my picture came along with us through all that journey, the, the hand, the hand, just like that. When we moved, though, my parents moved to Texas before me, and they just packed my stuff in the corner. It was in the garage. I came home, and I saw my picture in the garage. I'm like, you know, oh, it's good. It's, it's good. It's just fine. And I walked right past it. I'll get it another day. I'll come home from work because I was working that time during college. I'll see my picture, little hand sitting there. It's, it was a big picture. Maybe, oh, man. Oh, maybe three, three feet by two feet. I don't know, something like that. It was big, though. And it was like in the corner. It was on a, a mat. It was matted on a thicker piece of cardboard so it could stand on its own. I'd see it in the garage. Coming home from work, I'll pick it up another day. I'll come in home from church. Oh, oh, look at my hand. It's so cute. I'll pick it up another day. I'll take it inside. I would come home from vacation. Oh, I'll pick it up another day. I'll be at medical school and I come home to visit my parents. I see my hand looking there. <sighs> I really should take this back with me. Oh, you know, it's good. One day I came back and it was not there. I asked my mother, what, what you do with my thing? Is that what I said? Mommy, mommy, where's my picture? You, where, you see my picture? And she just don't even know where nothing is. I know she threw it away because she'd be throwing away stuff. But, you know, I'm not going to accuse the woman. As a matter of fact, my mom just had, she just had a birthday. My mom had her birthday yesterday. No. What? Oh, my, what am I saying? Last week. Say happy birthday to my mommy. She's such a cool little woman. Anyway, she, she I was about to accuse her again. The picture was no longer there, and I don't know where it went. It wasn't I that moved it. Someone else at the home moved my picture. I am sad and salty to this day. My hand that I drew in my art program, it was pencil and a little bit of charcoal blended to perfection. Oh, and it was gone. Listen here, guys. If something is important to you, don't put, off, put it off. Don't put off taking care of it. Don't put off putting it in a place of status, a place that really shows its value. Because you just never know. You, put, you lay something down randomly in the bathroom, on the bathroom counter. It could get wet. Water can splash on it. 
you lay it down in a garage and it just walk grew legs and walks off. You just never know if something is valuable to you, to you, put it in a place of honor, put it in a place where you can, you can look at it and care for it. That's what wisdom understand. Then there is stupidness. You don't even care. You just throw things wherever you walk past it and say some, you, some other day you'll take care of it until something happens to it. Then what you're going to do, you're going to turn around and kick yourself. You're going to be mad. That's it. Anyway, there you have it. Wisdom, stupidness, choose wisdom. Remember, show me your brightest, show me your best, show me the latest guru, God's wisdom, Let's theirs look like stupidness. <laughs> All right, guys, let me see what you got going on in the comment section.